In the previous AutoLink tutorial, we talked about how to use this custom menu to define our tool paths. Basically, just go in and input the parameters, tooling, uh, numbers, depths, and any of the other options that you want to specify, and that creates the layer name for us. Uh, what you'll find after you use AutoLink for a while is that you uh, are creating the same tool paths and inputting the same parameters over and over. Also, the, the layer names inside AutoCAD can become quite long and uh, difficult to read inside the layer dialog box. So another alternative to using the, the custom menu is to use what we call the AutoLink Instructions layer. And the AutoLink Instructions layer is simply a text entry inside the drawing where we redefine the, the layer names uh, with a common name that we choose. For example, we might have a layer called Single Pass which is just that, one pass around a part, and we define the routing depth, the tool number, the offset, uh, LD stands for lead length, uh, RI and RO are ramp in and ramp out heights above the part. So we're able to take all these um, parameters that AutoLink requires and then reassign it to a simple name that we can recognize. So if we go to our layer dialog box inside AutoCAD, we're looking at a more common name called single pass versus a lengthy name um, that we have to define and then view with all these parameters um, kind of crowded in together. So um, it's easier to, to reassign that name and easier to view and manipulate. Only a couple of things that you have to, um, that you have to um, follow when you create a, a text block like this or the AutoLink instructions layer, and that is all the text entries uh, have to be on the same layer. It can be on any layer, but they all have to be on the same layer. It has to begin with um, the text AutoLink instructions, and every entry has to be a separate text line. You can't use the mText command and create one large uh, block of text with a, with a carriage return to get your different lines. Each one has to be its own entity. Um, and then, of course, then you can just uh, define your layers uh, the same way that you would with the menu and, and of course all the parameters and the syntax that you have to follow is inside the AutoLink help menu. Uh, another uh, convenient thing to do with, with the, uh, the uh, text block is to define an onion skin. And an onion skin pass uh, can get quite lengthy because we have two separate passes. Um, we can define the, uh, the routing layer similar to the way we did with the single pass where our z-depth uh, on the first pass is not quite as deep. We have the same tooling information, lead in, uh, ramp in, ramp out. But then we have a dollar sign. And when, the, when we see the dollar sign, this indicates a new pass around the part. And then what follows the dollar sign is, is the, are the parameters for the second pass. Here we have a deeper uh, depth that will cut through uh, the same tooling information. So we have a, a quite long um, tool path name. And if you can imagine trying to view this layer name inside the dialog box inside AutoCAD, it could get quite lengthy. So here we're able to redefine that. And once we define these layers, then we don't really have to do much with them. All we have to do is when we send the drawing out or when we window out, make sure that we, um, make sure that we include the uh, text block inside the layer or inside the window. So when we go to send this out, we just go back to Window to AutoLink draw a window around our part with the layer, uh, the border layer, but also the, be sure to include the text block. You can see at the bottom left in the blue. And we send that out and we can reopen the program studs and you can see that the cutouts for the wire chases, uh, we had put those on the cutout layer which cuts out in one pass but then the uh, cutouts for each of the studs are on a separate layer. And they have the onion skin cut. You can see the first pass here is at, um, not at full depth. As we get toward the end, then it does come back and, and complete the cutout. So use the uh, AutoLink Instructions layer for uh, redefining your, your layers and even to add to your AutoLink template file so that anytime you start a new drawing, this um, text block is already there.